Good morning, guys. We are heading to Vancouver and stay there for three nights. So we're gonna show you around the city, and also we're going to meet some friends, and you're gonna hear their story. Be careful on outer decks that may be wet, and watch out for strong winds that can knock you off balance. So we're finally here in Vancouver after six hours. You wanna have a wine? This is Spender Street. And then behind this is actually, behind the building is a uh, Hastings. <laughs> so, so it's probably not a good idea to go out at night. Looking for food right now, and we found one Filipino food noodle restaurant. So let's check that out. So, guys, $18 sha. Ang mahal. Ang mahal kumai. It's already, I think it's already 11 a.m. and I woke up around 7 a.m. today and I worked a little bit while they're sleeping. But today, to be honest, it's gonna be a chill day. So I'll bring you around downtown Vancouver today. I'll bring you to the shops and just come with us. So here's the building of Vancouver Community College. Whew. It's really next to the to everything. <laughs> Nakakatawa yung mga schools dito. Magkakatabi lang sila. So masisira yung buhay nyo dito kasi katabi ng school yung mall. <laughs> Luma lumabasan lang kami eh. Hindi na namin kinaya sa loob. <laughs> so we're going to die so. Are you tired? No. <laughs> Finally guys, we're going home. We're done shopping, so we're, we're heading back to our place. Nakakapagod, nakakapagod maglakad dito sa Vancouver, but the weather is so nice today. It didn't rain, that's good. And tomorrow is gonna be a sunny day. If you're planning to go here, prepare your finances, guys because it's not really cheap to live here especially here 
in um, Vancouver. There's so many temptations here. The rent is expensive here. So really research the location where you're going to. So it's our day three here in Vancouver and today we're actually meeting some friends here in Vancouver. I actually wanted to meet other students like my SLE students. I was thinking to contact them but I feel like probably they're busy. I don't want to bug them. It's holiday so I just want them to spend more time with their family instead of meeting me. So today we're gonna I think we're gonna go to a Japanese restaurant. It's a eat all you can restaurants so yeah we are going to talk to our friends who went here as an international student as well and now got their permanent residency and we are going to ask them is it worth it how are they doing after PR so yeah because we've seen so many negative videos about Canada lately you know it's good to see both negative and positive but yeah we're gonna share with you our experiences with you know hearing from other students as well Seeing Vancouver, I think I miss going back to the office. Mag trabaho lang. So, parang feeling ko sa mag trabaho dito. Like, in corporate. So, we just finished our lunch and I'm with. Bella. Bella! Hello! <laughs> so Bella used to be an international student. Tell me more about your experience, Bella. Let's start because I know the bus, the financial. Financial college. Oh, yeah. Graduated August of 2020 during the COVID. Yeah. 19, and then she got her PR last year? Last year, September 12, 2023. Okay. Wait. So, <laughs> I have a question for Bella. What's question? <laughs> okay, as part of the LGBT community, what would you advise them if someone is planning to move here? Well, um, I would advise them to just come to Canada because you are, um, we have legal rights, so we're protected and we're safe here. So. That's that's why I chose Canada. So, did you regret anything? Like, of course, you you live in the Philippines and you used to live in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Did you regret yeah. anything? If I would compare it to Dubai, of course, I would I would have no regrets coming here. I could be my authentic self. Okay, next question. Just one second. Tawid mo na tayo. Next question. Are you planning to retire here? Since you got your PR, next is citizenship. Are you planning to retire here in Canada or somewhere else? Um, after getting my citizenship, um, I'm, I'm looking to retire somewhere else because I already have my passport. So I can go anywhere else. I mean, any anywhere I want to. Um, I'm not saying that I would not want to retire in Canada, but I have a lot more options now since um, I got my passport. So you still want to enjoy Canada for now? Yes, I still want to enjoy for a few years and then retire somewhere else. Yay! Thank you, Bella! You're welcome. Our next guest is from... <laughs> from Vancouver from Vancouver but I have chat today and she used to live in Singapore 
Yeah, Singapore, yes. and then I studied the Niagara College. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So, isa yun sa naging isa yun sa mga naging controversial na ano topic sa TikTok, comparing Singapore and uh, Canada. Yes. What do you think? Would you rather go back to Singapore after getting your PR and citizenship? De. <laughs> I mean, no offense, I love Singapore. Pero kung ano lang, mas gusto ko na dito sa Canada. So you want to retire here? No, I don't want to retire here. I want to retire somewhere else. I mean, I'm thinking about Spain. Ah, oh. uh, iba naman. <laughs> Kuha uli ng PR. <laughs> Kukuha ka uli ng PR? Yes. <laughs> Golden PR, parang si Bea, charot. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> na napagot mag-immigrate. Diba? Why not? Kung oh, saan mo, kung saan ka masaya. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so now, I'm with Ya! Yeah! Hello! <laughs> so, <laughs> so, dati kami magkamit bahay ni Ya. In Cavite. Tinan namin sasabihin ko saan. Yes, totoo yan. <laughs> so, si Ya, ano, parang dumating ka dito ng as a sa parang caregiver path no yeah caregiver live in caregiver to be exact yeah and then you work now as parang sa social media yeah uh, so i started as a web and marketing assistant and now i'm a social media coordinator in an international college aha yes. shout out <laughs> <laughs> pero my question for you did you ever parang experience to be discriminated here in canada like um in terms of your height. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'm 4'11", just so you guys know. Yeah. Uh, no. No. No discrimination at all. 4'8"? Dinagdagan mo. Hindi, 4'11 na ako. Ah, for, lumangi ka? Oh, oh, lumang, lumang, hindi, 4'11 talaga ako. Okay, so hindi ka na-discriminate? <laughs> hindi. Never. Never. Ever? Um, I... I sa mga Pilipino, mga kapwa Pilipina, <laughs> nandidiscriminate ako, pero sa ibang lahi, hindi. Yes. And my next question, kasi, parang the last time you went home was, ano, five, ah, five years ago, you never went home. Um, I did in 2021. Nagpasal oh! ako. Yes. Yes. Tapos, ayun na. What did you experience? Did you miss the Philippines? Parang, ay, gusto ko na lang magstay sa Philippines. May mga part na nakakamiss, pero at the same time, parang... Gusto uh, <laughs> natin, mapasagasaan na tayo. <laughs> uh, may mga part na nakakamiss, pero... Mostly, feeling ko dito yung buhay ko. Ewan ko, parang gano'n yung pakiramdam. Uh, you feel home, parang uh, dito na talaga yung mm-hmm. new home mo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dito na yung pakiramdam ko. Ah, dito ko... Parang masaya. Masaya ako dito. Something na... Kasi sa Pilipinas, marami ko mga na-experience na... I feel like... I can't really truly show yeah. my true self if yes. you know what I mean like yung yung pananamit and all oh, that yes. kasi pag sa Pilipinas parang ang init-init na ganun siya <laughs> which is totoo kasi nung nakarating yeah. na ako parang hindi ba pero uh-huh. dito talaga na express ko yung sarili ko oh. yes be an artist yes parang dito artist. mas nag ano ka nag uh, like, like full blown ano ha? Yes, talagang nilabas ko talaga lahat. Wow. <laughs> so I think that answered my question if you are going to retire. I think you want to retire here. Based on your answer. Um I can't really tell yung ah, future. Right. Uh-huh. Kung anong anong magiging future, di ba? Parang hindi ako makapagsalita totally, pero for now, kung may isip ko ngayon, sabihin ko yes. Pero, um, in the future, we don't know. Ano mo nga, diba? But for now, I, I really enjoy my life here. Wow! <laughs> Go, Canada! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Ewan ko, pero yun talaga. I really enjoy my life so it's our last day here in vancouver and as a tradition we always go to this restaurant again a filipino restaurant i'm not sure if i want to eat so much today but i'm excited to have the goldilocks here it's actually here in joy street 
So if you're here in Vancouver and you're craving for Filipino food, I would highly recommend this restaurant. So we're having Shanghai and Dinuguan. Sa island, hindi kami makain ng Filipino food kasi walang Filipino food. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know, mm, top. Mga after 10 years, bago maka <laughs> How do you like your spaghetti? <laughs> and then, siya, and dami niyang food down. Mm -hmm. And dami niyang... <laughs> gutom na gutom. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.